Hi everyone, it's Lisa and Luna from Don't Run With Scissors back for another Technique Tuesday. Uh, I am doing laundry and I uh, thought we could play with the dryer sheet technique. Uh, this has been a dryer sheet that's been used a couple of times, uh, so you definitely don't want anything brand new, but it is just typical bounce. So let's get started. I have a small piece of cardstock here that I'm going to stamp with some trees. We're making a winter scene for a holiday card. I have espresso from Adirondack. And we're going to start right in the middle. And then we're going to go right off to the back to give it a little dimension. Lighter tree. We're going to do that again. Come over to the side a little. And then again, right in the back for some dimension. And then we'll do one more darker one right here off to the side. And that is all it takes for stamping. Clean this up a little. Now is the fun. So I'm going to take a dryer sheet. It should be nice and smooth. Um, this has a little bit of wrinkles and the four letter word that is never used in my house is iron. Uh, so we're just going to smooth this out real quick. You can see how quickly it will go. Nothing too difficult. Some people will say that uh, dryer sheets are easily cut on a cutting place here on, the, on these mats. I have really yet to see it work very well. However, if you take your X-Acto knife, you can see I have plenty of dryer sheets hanging around. If you go with an X-Acto knife between your fingers, you can follow the line. And that works much better. So I have one that's already cut. It's right here. It matches the same size as my cardstock. We're going to make that nice winter scene, as I said. And the trick to doing that is adhesive spray. So what you do want to have is a piece of cardstock that's scrap. Grab one since I forgot that. Just take that off and put it over here. Then all you're going to do is you're going to spray this. tacky side down is going to go right on top of your Christmas tree stamps. It smells lovely from that spray. Nice and smooth right on over. And while things are still tacky, I am using the Elizabeth Craft Designs Warm Diamond Fine Glitter. When you spray this on while it's still tacky, it's going to stay. Give it a little shake. And you, your customers, your friends, whoever you send your card to will be in awe. Let's give that a quick brush off here. Do you have some friends out there that say they hate glitter? So if any of it were to wind up on them, they would be very upset with me. I'll wipe that off. Give it a quick, quick clip here. Make sure everything's nice and lined up. Now, if you're making multiples of these, since I am in Christmas card motion here, um, it does take a lot of adhesive to keep a track. Uh, attaching card to card to cardstock um, to keep the layers going. It gets very expensive. So actually what I found out this morning um, as I was doing it is this trick here. If you go to any tag sales, pick up a big, a big, big ass road atlas and you'll see they have a couple pages that are already stuck together. See some ink. I was doing some inking earlier. This is the easiest way to do it, and the quickest, and the cheapest. Use the spray adhesive again, spray the back, flip it right on your cardstock. This is a quarter of an inch larger than my white. 
party over. Done with this page? Turn it. It's going to stick. You have a nice clean surface to work on for the next one. But at this point, I'm actually going to put a piece of ribbon on and my tape runner. Since I did do the warm, I picked a gold piece of ribbon. I'm going to slide that in here. Tap that. off back side there we have it actually I will spray that again because I'm going to put that on my card see how easy that is we'll close it so that we're not making a mess and there you have it I do want to put a quick saying on it I have Let It Snow. I do have all that Glitters is Snow. That's also a cute one. I'm going to use the same color that I did for the trees. Ink that up real good. And I do have, oops, my little snowflake. And there you have it. Probably will trim it down a little bit more just so I can have that but there's your card let it snow beautiful dryer sheet it's a lot of fun um, really easy to use up good recycling so anyways this is Lisa from don't run with scissors again Luna doesn't make an appearance on how to use your dryer sheets to make beautiful card have a nice night and we'll see you soon